Well, the Knoxville auditions for America's Got Talent are just over a week away. You getting nervous? Yeah, I'm getting nervous. Why? Are you? Well, no, I'm not performing. Anymore. Todd trying out? I hope so. Auditions, Todd. Okay. He's going like this, so I'm not sure how to interpret that. Either that's yes or maybe. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Emily DeVoe caught up with the comedian from this past season who was inspiring as much as he was funny. Samuel Comroy says the show has completely changed his life. Yeah, what up? What up, people? Yeah. A few months after making it to the finals on America's Got Talent, comedian Samuel Comro is busier than he could have ever imagined. It's been insane. It's been a blessing. A year ago, I was performing for one dude in the college cafeteria, eating a pepperoni pizza. 20 minutes into my hour show, he decided, hey, I'm going to go to the bathroom. So for 40 minutes, I've performed for a pepperoni pizza. And now I'm on a tour. Uh, I'm booked out through July. Um, I got people coming to my show. It's sold out shows everywhere I go. It's people coming to see me specifically. It's just, it's been a dream come true for me. We caught up with the comedian before a show at East Tennessee State University. He said the hardest part about touring is being away from his 10 month old daughter. I miss her. I don't even see her very often. I'm more of a stepdad right now than anything. <laughs> we FaceTime, she calls me Sam. It's cute. <laughs> No, I love, I mean, my, my daughter is my everything, my wife is my everything, and uh, to be able to provide for them now, doing what I love to do. Making like comedy a full-time career was a goal Comer started to working towards to when he first cool stepped on stage moment, so in high went. school. I started when I was 17 years old. Um, I was an introvert my entire life. I have Tourette's syndrome, so I got picked on a lot. I was always kind of to myself, but I come from a big family, five sisters, one brother, and I was silly within my family. Uh, and the people I knew, my close circle of friends, and my dad's always wanted to try stand-up comedy. I asked the principal if I could perform in the auditorium, got on stage, did a 20-minute show with hey, material I did not write. My dad wrote it, and then I later found out it was Rodney Dangerfield's material, uh, but it worked out. It worked out. I do my own material now. It's my own jokes, people. Today, Comro often talks about his disability during routines, and it's turned him into a role model for kids who grew up just like him. I got a message a week ago. A lady told me that her son, 10 years old, has Tourette's syndrome, gets picked on every day in school, and he saw me on stage uh, doing my jokes on one of the episodes, went to school the next day, a kid picked on him, and he was like, you have Tourette's, you twitch, blah, blah, blah. And the kid with Tourette's just looked at him and was like, uh, it's not Tourette's, it's swag. And then he bounced. <laughs> and I was like, yes. The comedian hopes to one day show his routines to his daughter to show her that she can do anything she wants to when she grows up. For Live at 5 at 4, I'm Emily Tavares. Thank you. That is a great him. story, isn't it? Absolutely. Such an inspiration. And the comedian certainly has overcome several obstacles in his life, as, we, as we've heard, including getting rejected from America's Got Talent and former auditions. We're going to have the rest of his interview where he shares his tips for making it through the audition process next week on Live at 5 at 4. What a great guy, though. Yeah, terrific. That's a, And that's a great story about that young man <laughs> that talked to him. All right, and Swag. auditions for America's Got Talent, November 15th at the Knoxville Convention Center. They are looking for any age, any type of talent. And remember, this is for the producers of the shows, so the judges won't be there, but if you mm -hmm. make it past that, you never know.